what's a conversation in business that we don't have enough of? My biggest one would be say making mistakes because a lot of people take a risk, make a mistake, and it's here's another analogy. It's like it's like being a little kid in a pool, and you're you're swimming around, you're having a riot, and then something happens to you. Someone says you're ugly. Poop. You poop in the pool. Something you're swimming around. Someone says I don't want to play with you. Poop. You poop in the pool. I know another odd analogy. It's all good, John. Same thing happens in business. We we start doing something. We, it's, it doesn't work. We poop in our pool. Pretty soon, our pool is full of poop, and we can't even move. We're actually strangled and held tight, and we don't take risks anymore in our marketing because we don't trust ourselves anymore. We don't forgive ourselves. It's really about risk-taking in business, whether it's asking for a raise, whether it's asking for the million-dollar contract. We, ju we stop taking risks because we get so beat up. And it's going to come from forgiving yourselves for making mistakes. It, it always comes down to self-forgiveness. And I ask myself key questions every single time that I do the absolute best that I possibly could with the skills and the tools that I had. And the honest, authentic answer is always yes, because we're always doing the best we can. Can I forgive myself for screwing it up, sometimes royally, sometimes a little bit, sometimes way out of control? Yeah, I can. It might take me a little bit. And I can forgive myself. And as soon as I can forgive myself, I can go into solution mode and start really rocking it out. That's probably the biggest issue in forgiveness for business. So that's the big conversation in business. Yep. So what forgiveness, is, taking risks. Yeah. What is what is the your moment of the greatest moment of forgiveness for you for yourself? You know, it's funny that you ask that because I don't have forgiveness as moments. Although aha moments can happen. I don't think forgiveness is an act. I think forgiveness is a constant way of being. It's a constant way of being. A lot of people know my story. This might be your most uncomfortable interview you've ever had, Sean, okay? <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so I speak and travel all over the world, and I talk a lot about incest. I'm an incest survivor, which is not a fun topic, right? You want to talk about authentic, right? I had another and guest on the I show, Little Warriors. Maybe you know Glory. I do, I do, yeah, excellent, yep. And it's a tough conversation. Some of us have a lot of nasty stuff in our past. And it's so cool to be at this age in my life and to be able to say it's one of the best things that's ever happened to me. Do I wish incest on anyone? No. And the process of forgiveness, the person I've become in that process is exquisite. I love the person I've become. And does it mean that next month something will happen or I'll have a flare of anger towards the man who perpetrated me? Of course not. Of course that's going to happen. Do I feel pretty exquisitely peaceful about it? Yeah. And so for me, there's no conscious act of forgiveness, although I probably do have one I lied um, that recently happened um, as I'm going through this. Bottom line about incest, it's a process. We all have things that happen to us. And a lot of people get stuck in suffering and never grieve their losses. And that's really the bottom line for me. Grieving your losses and moving on. Yeah. And, and what was the, the single point? The single one would be like, like my experience. Um, this is recent for me. And you know, I'm just finishing up my PhD. And I just did my defense. I'm like in the last phases of my prospectus and defended my, my defense. I failed. I didn't pass. It was a horrible day. It was probably one of the most humiliating, academically speaking, days I've ever had. Um, I even had one of the professors say to me, you know, you're motivating, you're exciting, you're passionate, but do you have the intelligence skills to do a PhD? And I could just feel the anger flare up in me. I've been working on this PhD for several years. I've been a straight-A student my whole freaking life. Yeah, I have the intelligence to do this. And in the moment, calming down that anger, because anger is only fear anyway, in my estimation, and being able to handle that with grace. It's been a few weeks. I'm actually in my next phase now of preparing for my defense again, and I feel pretty good. Still got moments of shame that'll pop up. What I love, though, is the grace in with, in with which I handle that. Um, we all have stuff that happens to us, disappointments, things that we think are going to go through when they don't go through. Businesses fail. We lose our houses. We all have stuff. And it's going through this journey and working through it. That, to me, is what forgiveness is. Even if you're angry and you're working through it, to me, that is forgiveness. It's ah. just different for everybody. It's different for everybody. So where can people go to find out more about Project Forgive and working with you? 
Beautiful. Well, of course, I want them to go to Facebook. Facebook.com, Project Forgive. Come engage with us. We have, we're getting a Facebook like every half hour. It's so amazing what's happening there. And also, you can go if you want to share a story or make a pledge and get involved with the film. You can go to ProjectForgive.com. If you want to hang out and learn more about communication or media training, SeanTV.com. I always say Shawnee TV, S H A W N E TV.com. And come hang out and see what some of the stuff that we have there, too. Perfect. Thanks so much for being on. Do you have any last words that you want to share with people? You are a delight, Sean. How's that? So I appreciate pursuing me, bringing information to the people that follow you, um, you know, knowing that you know Dave Albano and knowing your authenticity and your journey of authentic, uh, authentic marketing and creating this. I just really appreciate you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Thanks for being we'll on. And we'll see you next time. Take care. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to like, share, and comment below. Subscribe to this channel for more interviews. And if you want to go further and be live on the interviews, you can go to mmt.tv forward slash live to find out how. Like on Facebook and follow on Twitter to ask your questions. And be sure to get on the mailing list. Go to mmt.tv to get access to all the things that are not contained in these interviews. All the links are mentioned below. And until next time, break the rules, change the game, and be a rock star.